All right, I told you, I warned you. We're back at MBT and the last video, I told you that it was gonna come down to the last couple of shots here. This, uh, this chieftain fired at the uh, BRDM2 splat, uh, blow, blew that sucker into a bazillion pieces, rolled an 03, thanks for playing and uh, scored a knockout on that guy. So uh, that is uh, toast there. That pops these guys up to 12. And now at uh, 12 for their CP, their cohesion point rating, that means they're, they're all at risk of breaking uh, whenever they move or fire or they have to make rolls and all sorts of nonsense. So I'll tell you what, the, the th this, these are interesting rules. And I think if you're not gonna use these, you're missing out on part of the game with the morale and the extended command rules. Really makes a difference. Uh, Normal morale checks, uh, if you're a broken formation, whenever you move from your hex, if you're attacked, uh, it, it, it overrun or close assault or hand combat, uh, has a vehicle brew up in the same hex, has its command unit eliminated, you're gonna need to make cohesion checks uh, every time when, those things, when that happens. Uh, when you when you reach your CP rating, so it's pretty devastating. It means that you're making a roll for every unit on the board anytime they really try and do anything or take a shot. So it encourages your op your opponent to start taking more shots, even if they're not uh, high value shots or high high percentage chance shots of uh, of making a kill. And it's going to uh, it's going to you know increase the risk that your your unit becomes broken or hesitates. So. Let's have a look at the map. Two tanks left, one damaged. Uh, two ATGM uh, BRDMs on the on the hilltops here, and a BTR. Excuse me, a BTR over there, and two squads, three squads hanging out. So you know, uh, f effective fighting force uh, was lost about <laughs> five units ago. So the morale ratings here are pretty high. The Allies have, have uh, swung this around. The, the Brits have swung this around. They were uh, in dire straits. They needed to get this kill here and then bring this tank back over here to reinforce this side because we, we only had two tanks left here and then a couple of uh, scorpions and bits and pieces and a couple of squads trying to hold the line and keep control of these two bridges. Oh, you can't see it, sorry. Uh, these two bridges here to thwart the 100 VP accumulation and also the, the rational uh, the rational victory condition that you know you want to have control of the bridges so that the enemy can push through and continue its exploit or whatever is going on. So I'm going to call the game here. Nobody fights on with two tanks out of seven uh, left with the commander gone and uh, two ATGMs kind of sitting on the hill going, oh, I'm scared. So excellent fun. Great, inter interesting uh, level of uh, added, I'll call it narrative detail. Now that you've got some names to apply to these guys and these ratings that uh, impact uh, your uh, AP fire, your GP fire, suppression ratings, and other bits and pieces uh, really makes a, a nice little bumps and adjustments that are what I would call non-standard. So it's it's going to, you know, instead of everybody being at 50%, you know, this guy might get on a suppression roll, he's going to get a, he's going to get a 55. So those sorts of things will help and, and, and add a little bit of richness and uh and excitement to the game. So super good fun. We used all the rules here, had a great time with it. Very excited, very happy. Uh, now it's time to uh, pack this little bad boy up. Uh, we've finished our OCS game and now we're on to Russia Besieged and uh, the Korean War down the end there, which I have not had the mental capacity to play that MBT and OCS at the same time. So we'll get uh, Russia Besieged set up and then we'll start rotating between these two games. Catch you later.